Hello everybody, welcome back to Earthbound. Let's play Earthbound Part 13. I'm sure of it this time, it's Part 13. So, I decided to meet you back outside that cave because I didn't want to go walking all through that again. You know, you pretty much seen what there was to see there, so. Anyway, we're heading back to Tucson now to take Sky back home. And that's about all we're doing right now. Well, there's a couple more things in the town that I need to do before I kind of sort of progress the plot, and then we can head off for the next town. Yep, don't want to be walking around with the cold, I'll tell you that. So... Yeah, oh boy, these, I thought these guys were supposed to run away from me when you got here, but there's no boss here, so it's... It's all a matter of level at this point. I'm not sure how it works, if there's like a certain level or... I don't know, but... Yeah, so, um... Oh, man. Okay, I think we're pretty much in the clear here. Let me just head on back out of here. Ugh. Okay, that guy didn't do very nice to us. He knocked us down to 18 and 39. I mean, hell. You notice I also learned Life Up Beta, so... Pretty soon we'll start using that, but... In the meantime, I'm just using the first one. I mean, the first one only costs 5 MP, I think the second one costs 8. So... But it does more than double of the healing, so... It's just a matter of whether your HP is high enough to accommodate all the extra HP that you get from it, so... Whew. I thought I was... Oh man! Oh, you just get past one of them thinking you're lucky to do that. Uh, can I talk to this guy without touching the butterfly? I don't think so. But what the hey, we're not doing a speed run here, so... Blue, blue. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the last we'll be hearing of blue, blue, thank goodness. So... At least I think it is. I'm pretty... I don't know. I don't think they come back for any... at any particular time. So now we head off into the cave, and pretty soon we'll be back home again. We'll be scot-free, baby. And another random battle. That was a couple of, uh... Well, you saw what they were. They were, uh... Mobile sprouts. Okay, I was a little worried there when I saw that mushroom. I, uh, then again, now that I know they can be cured at the hospital... Do it on the way back out here. Or do it when I get back here. If I had gotten mushroomed, I would have just healed it here. Anyway. Almost home. Now, I'll check this out. She lives right next door. Wait, whoa. Okay, we got a new enemy here. The New Age Retro Hippie. Yes, indeed. Well, these guys are no match for us now. We could have fought some of those earlier, but... Yeah, oh well. Yeah, see, she lives right next to a pizza place. How that must be nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I like to be a hero. Oh, he says the same thing as before. Okay. Uh, what about this girl? Same thing. Okay. Sky's mother, on the other hand, Yahoo! I knew it. You saved Sky. I don't really understand it, but I know the Sky's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand to any challenge. Okay, and you get the hand aid, which is basically a healing item. It'll restore all your HP. I don't know if it restores all of it, but it's a lot, so you can use it like later in the game and still get quite a bit out of it. So. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Cool. We'll meet another friend in three. Hey, let's go. Alright. Yeah, you won't cry anymore. Thanks a lot, Cheryl Crow. Oh, well, no, actually, she says, can't cry anymore. He says, I won't cry. Okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, since you're talking about Cheryl Crow, oh my god. Whatever. Hey. Everdread is looking for us. But before we get over to his place, I'm going to stop by the bus station here, because this is something we kind of need to see. 
Otherwise, certain things that will happen later won't be nearly as cool. Oh, uh, yeah, we kind of learned as much as we can about this area. Huh. Yeah. Oh! Okay, that's three guys now that have said something about their wife. Oh my god. Okay, whatever you say. We also have a phone and an ATM here, if you need them. So you check the bus stop sign, and no matter when you check it, it'll say the next bus is coming pretty soon. And then it comes onto the screen, and you can... And the driver pops his head out the window and says, Yeah, this is bus to three, but I don't know if we're going to get there or not. So we'll take a shot. And we get on the bus. Okay, try to resist the temptation to insert uh, something from the movie Speed here, you know. <laughs> what does that look like it says on the bus? It looks like it says Lady Hand LOL. Uh, okay. As you head down the tunnel, the ghosts start to fall. That's freaky. Now we're going back the other way. For some reason, the bus returned to Tucson. Yep, just like I thought. Okay, I'm starting to get the creeps. We're going back to the bus station. You want to get off here? No. I don't want to get off here. Because that's a long-ass walk all the way back up there again. Yeah, like I said, long-ass walk. <laughs> How many screens worth? Probably 10 or 12. There's Apple Kid, Orange Kid... We're almost home. Oh, wait, no, you could have let me off there. I'm heading that way anyway. Okay, big deal. Whatever. So we can't get to three, apparently. Because there's ghosts in the tunnel, so that kind of sucks. So let's go see Everdread, see what was up with him. He wanted to see us. So I guess I do actually have to come back here. I remember I said before, I never remember to come back here. I forgot that you actually had to come back here, so... Alrighty then. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Manny Manny statue that liar exaggerate on Earth in a way. See you in another time in another space. That was a tar that was a terrible Everdread voice. It's way too whiny. So he gives you the wad of bills, which is worth $10,000. It doesn't actually add $10,000 to your balance. It's just, it's like an item that you use. And we will be using it pretty soon here. In fact, I'm running short on time here. I know I had some random battles to take out. Hey, you came with Sky, and you deserve a present, playboy. <laughs> what? Dude, you do not talk like that to kids. I'm sorry, man. Playboy? What the heck? Oh, speaking of Playboy, look who's here. Photographer. Again. Oh, This is already getting old. Fuzzy Pickles. Yeah, I don't know why Ness is the only one who smiles there, but he is. Everybody else just stands there looking like a zombie. It's kind of depressing, almost. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. Well, you stupid... Shouldn't lose your ticket next time. So this is the manager. The manager of the club. He says, The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> hmm. Well, how much do they make per show? I mean, it would only take like a hundred shows to pay that off, wouldn't it? Hello, please present your ticket. Please present your ticket. Um, do I have enough time to do this? I don't think I do. I'm gonna go ahead and give her the ticket. Backstage pass. There you go. Hurry. You're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. But you know what? We're gonna have to wait till next time to see the fucking Runaway 5 show. Because I... Whatever. Okay, see you later.